How do we begin to dismantle second degree racism? How do we work together here? Because it's exhausting to be on the receiving end of microaggressions all day, every day. I can only imagine. I just can only imagine. It just feels like, God, it just, I just can I just go to bed? Um, and so how do you see us collectively beginning to tear down those walls? Um, I'll say to you and everyone listening the same thing I said to Oprah. Okay. Denial, spelled D-E-N-I-A-L. Don't even know I am lying. Ah, uh, well, see, that's hard. So you can't fix a problem, Jen, that you don't know exists. So how do we fix this issue? Well, first, we have to acknowledge the existence of it. I don't necessarily fault the individual white person. I fault the country. Yeah. For example, um, I recently hosted uh, The Bachelor after the final rose. Uh, the did you? <laughs> the reason they asked me to host was because the black gentleman, the first black bachelor, he selected a white woman, Rachel Kirkconnell, who had pictures surface of her on an antebellum plantation party back in college. Yeah. I'll be real. Cool. I said this privately. I've said it publicly. I'll say it again. I don't fault Rachel. Hmm. I fault the country that Rachel doesn't realize how ignorant and insensitive that was. Sure. All the sorority. Sure. Like one individual. There's a construct that she was a part of. Totally. Like, you know what? This isn't a bad idea to go to an antebellum plantation. For those right. of you all listening, antebellum in Latin translates to before the war. Hmm. The war in question, the civil war that freed the slaves. So an antebellum plantation is literally notating a plantation that was in existence before slaves were free and thus slaves would have been on said plantation. Hmm. I fault the country for not holding our white brothers and sisters accountable of their insensitivity. I'm going to pivot to a place that may make some people uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, Jen, you know, we currently live in this quote unquote cancel culture. Yeah. And people are, oh my God, they're, they're up in arms. Cancel culture, how the hell? What's going on? Yeah. Um, we have to understand that we're now just being held accountable. And by we, I really mean white men. Mm, yeah. Women have been held accountable. There have been women's suffrage movements, 1920s, look no further, mm. um, where women have been told how to dress. Women have been told what to say. Women have been held in check if they dress a certain way or say a certain thing. Black people, we already know they've been held accountable. Sure. I dare a black person in the 1940s or 50s to sit on the front of a bus. Totally. Be held accountable. So black people have held been held accountable for their actions. Women have been held accountable for their actions. But white men have never really been held accountable for their actions in our country, speaking generally, if I may. Hmm. The issue at hand is that collectively as a society, we haven't done a good enough job holding each other accountable. Yesterday, uh, the day before we're currently recording this marked 100 years since the Tulsa race yeah. riots, the Tulsa race massacre. Yeah. You're nodding your head in agreement is yes. So I'm assuming you know what I am talking about. Sure. I did not know what I am ta was talking about prior to two years ago because mm. I never learned that at my astute genius private school. Mine, of course not. Where did I? Went, I, I went okay. to the number one school in Texas. Look it up. Like not my opinion. <laughs> we literally ranked the number one school in Texas. <laughs> And I did not know what the Tulsa race riot was. For right, those of course. who don't know what it is, Tulsa race riot, Black Wall Street eviscerated Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, in 1921 because a black man tripped on an elevator, touched a white woman, white woman, um, you know, made accusations, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I bring that all full circle, Jen, to simply say, we as a country have to do a better job of understanding the real issues even my white people my white brothers that are like trying to be allies mm. do you know what you're being an ally to and for yeah like you you want to be a part of the good but do you know how yeah exactly and that's that's really the dilemma at hand